Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be trying more of the McCart 4-in-1 solid glue gels. In a previous video when I was unboxing the McCart Your Nail Lab box, one of these solid glue gels were included in the box. I absolutely loved it. I had reached out to McCart telling them how much I loved the product and they actually offered to send me all of their other colors and of course I accepted because really this product is so amazing. I love how not only is the product clear but you can also purchase it in tons of different colors. As you can see here, they literally sent me every single color so I do want to give a big thank you to McCart. I also really love this product and will continue to use it. Today I did only end up using um, two of the colors and you will see that later on in the video, but I really love this product. I also love that it is a super versatile product. You can use it for so many different things such as applying your soft gel nail tips, adhesion for rhinestones, you can mix it with glitter, you can use it as a natural overlay on your nails, for 3D sculpting, for gluing on nails, and so many other things that you can use this for. So this product is currently available on the cart Amazon store so I will be putting the links down below in the description box when you do purchase products through Amazon I do not have a discount code that you guys can use and I think this product is only currently on the McCart Amazon store if you do purchase something from the McCart website though I have a discount code that you guys can use to save money off your purchase and I will be linking all of that down below in the description box so all of these are the exact same thing, of course, different colors, but they do come in the plastic packaging. And then inside the packaging, we have this little like instruction guide. It shares some information about like some warm tips and also the functions or the uses of this product. And then we actually have the product. The product size is a 15 ml so you do get a pretty decent amount of product and for the price these are actually eight eight dollars and 99 cents on the website the amazon listing price and i think overall that is a great price for this product because when you are doing your nails especially if you're only using this product to adhere the soft gel tips to your natural nails really you aren't going to be using much product at all and with this being a super thick product there really isn't much need to use a ton of the product so this one here is just the normal clear color i will be showing all of the different colors as well all of them do come sealed and it's nice because there's like a little tab on the seal so it's easier to take off. Of course with all of these different colors it did take me quite a bit of time to remove all of these seals and take everything out of the packaging but I just went ahead and did that off camera because there's no need for you guys to sit through watching me unpackage all of these solid gels. But I went ahead and did all of that off camera and in a second here you will see all of the colors. For the clear, I did notice it was having a little bit of a difficult time picking up on camera. But you can see there I took a cuticle pusher and I was able to take it out. It is a very solid product. Here's just a quick look at all of the colors, clear, white, glitters, pinks, mauves, nudes so many different colors of this product and I am so thankful that McCart sent me all of these. I cannot wait to continue using these in a bunch of different nail sets. Here is the clear. This one here is great for anything but mainly the clear here. I would, my main use for this one would more than likely be just applying the nail tips because it is just a clear product. You can use this, apply your nail tips, and then you can go in with any gel polish on top. The next color here is white and for some of these I did notice that there was no color label on the top and this is one of them. So you can either write that on or maybe just keep in mind that that one is white and need to open it to see the color. I'm not really sure why some of them didn't have the name or the color on them. This one was a very pretty one. I loved it because it had glitter in it. 
it was so so beautiful it was like a clear base but kind of like a jelly pink color with tons and tons of glitter this one was so beautiful definitely one of my favorites just all of those iridescent glitter pieces in it some of them being a finer glitter and a chunkier glitter the next one here is another clear base packed with glitter this one was beautiful as well. Again, the chunkier and finer glitter pieces. Another thing that I do want to mention about this product that they do mention in like their warm tips that if you are having troubles using the product, if it is too stiff because the temperature in your nail room may be a little bit colder, something you can do before actually using the product is soaking it in a warm, in warm water and it will just help to soften up the product a little bit. When I was using this today, I didn't need to do that, but in my previous video when I used one of the nude colors, I did actually end up needing to do that because it was just so hard because my nail room was a lot colder. But for today, I mean, these products, they were a pretty good consistency, but if they are a little too hard, you're having troubles working with them, just go ahead and soak them in some warm water and they definitely will soften up, just like polygel as well. If you're having trouble squeezing it out of the tube, soaking it in warm water will solve that problem right away. So I am just showing all of the colors here because they did send me all of these colors. I wasn't going to be able to use them all in this video. So I did just want to show all of the colors. I loved every single color. All of them were so beautiful. The nudes, pinks, and mauves. I was just really loving those because it is a nice way you can use a nude color or a pink color to adhere your nail tip and then you have your nude base already there. You can go right in with your French tip. And I mean, you can do that with the clear white or glitters as well. You don't have to specifically use the nudes. But for these nudes, I was really getting the idea of just being able to easily use these nude colored solid glue gels, apply my nail tips, and then go straight in with my gel polish making the French tips or any design that I was going to be doing. I will actually go ahead and leave the link to the previous video where I tried one of these gels. Um, down below that way you can check that video out as well but I can't stop saying it I love this product so much I believe the way or the name of this product is 4-in-1 Glue X Gel or Glux Gel something like that getting the idea of Gel X so I like the name but I don't really know how to properly pronounce it so I kind of just call it the 4-in-1 solid glue gel because basically that is what it is. This nude here was actually the one that I used in the video I was talking about with the Your Nail Lab box. If you got that box, you probably got that color or a different one of them. And I like how these were included because I didn't even know McCart had this product until I saw that. So it just made me super excited. And that was all of the colors. So we are now going to be jumping in and doing some nails. So of course, I'm going to be doing some Gel X nails in today's video. Starting off with some basic nail prep, I am taking a cuticle pusher and I am gently pushing back my cuticles. I will also be taking the opposite end of this cuticle pusher which kind of has like a scraper end on it and I will be using that around my cuticle and on my nail plate very gently so I don't cut or hurt myself but I am going to be using that to scrape up any of the dead cuticle. When you are doing any type of nails, you do want to make sure that you are removing any of the dead cuticle that is on your nail plate, getting all of that lifted up and removed. And this is something very important, removing any of that dead cuticle so your nails can last as long as possible because if you leave it there, that is going to lead to lifting and your nails popping off. So definitely make sure you are going in with very, very good prep. I know it can be difficult sometimes because you think you go in with really good prep and then your nails start to lift or they pop off and the really the only thing I can say to that is just keep trying try different things maybe if you push back your cuticles but you don't scrape up the dead cuticles and you realize that your nails are popping off maybe next time go in a little bit more in depth and getting up all of that cuticle 
For example, here I am showing um, cutting my cuticles. I don't always do this just because I do generally do a lot of nails in a week, so it isn't always necessary for me to do this, but it can be a very crucial step removing any of that dead cuticle. I do know that this can be a little bit challenging for beginners though and honestly I didn't ever really like doing this until I got a really good um, cuticle cutter and this one was actually from Double Dip Nails which currently they are not selling nail products anymore. Super sad about that but I really love that one so I would say invest in a good cuticle nipper if you are struggling with that or maybe take an e-file with a cuticle ball bit that can also be another way to clean up any of the cuticles. The next step I am doing here is taking a buffer and gently removing the shine from my natural nail plate. Our nails are shiny, they have a natural oil to them, so taking a buffer or a hand file or a mandrel sanding band and just lightly going over the nail to etch the surface of your nail tip is really going to help your nails last. After doing all of that, I am just taking a stiff dust brush and removing all of the nail dust, and then I will be going in with my nail dehydrator. I'm applying one layer of this to all of the nails, and this one from McCart actually smells so good. It smells like fruity watermelons, and that is going to dehydrate my natural nails and remove any extra oils that I have on my nail plate. I am then going in with a layer of primer, again, an air dry product. The primer is going to help prime our nails and help the nail tip bond to our natural nail. One little tip here, if you struggle with lifting, I recommend going in with two coats of the primer because that can really help just create a easier bonding surface for the nail tip to adhere properly and longer to your natural nail. After I had the primer and that was dried, I took a layer of base coat, applied that to all of the nails, and cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. These prep steps work absolutely perfect for me when I'm doing gel extensions on my toenails. Um, I have mentioned this before. I like to mention that because sometimes some people may wonder, like, how do I know these prep steps are actually working if I don't actually keep the nails on? When I do my gel extensions on my toes, I follow those same exact steps and my toenails can last me like a month, if not longer, of course, with a grow out, but I don't have any lifting or anything like that. So those are my favorite steps to do when I am prepping for gel extensions. Something else that I feel and find very crucial if you want the longevity of your nails is to go in and actually prep the soft gel nail tip as well. So I did show that you can just take a sanding band. You don't even really have to have an e-file. I personally like using an e-file. It's a lot quicker and easier. I went ahead and etched the inside of the nail tip. I also took the primer and scrubbed that on the inside of the nail tip as well to chemically etch the inside. If you don't have primer, if you don't have an e-file, you can do one or the other. But I think personally, I like doing both. I like going in, etching the nail tip with a sanding band and also going in with some primer and chemically etching it as well. So for these nail tips, I didn't actually prep them because I'm not going to be leaving these nails on. I just wanted to show that and share with you guys that it is very crucial to also prep your soft gel nail tips. And now I'm actually jumping right in to applying the nail tips. So the nail tips I used were the um, ballerina nail tips, which are also the soft gel nail tips from McCart. I went ahead, sized those out off camera, and then I am just taking the nail tips, scooping out a little bit of the product I used one of the lighter pink shades and once I kind of get that ball scooped out with the nail tip I will just pick that up place it inside the nail tip and kind of press it down I do personally recommend wearing gloves when you are using this gel product because it is gel, you do need to cure it, and touching uncured gel with your hands, it can result in having allergies and just cause a lot more problems than you want to have. 
You will see me kind of touch it with my hands from time to time, but I do always try my best to wear a glove and only touch it with the hand that my glove is on. So just definitely keep that in mind when you are using this product. It is gel and touching uncured gel just isn't the best thing, especially because it can result in allergies. So I just wanted to mention that. But I will just take my little ball out. I like then pressing it down into the nail tip. When your nail tips are etched, the gel is actually going to stick better in the nail tip. That's another reason why I feel like it is super important to also etch the nail tips. Just because when you're using a product like this, it is going to just stick a lot better if it has an etched surface to kind of stick to. But I just press it down and then once I have it all pressed down for the most part, I will go ahead and place it onto my natural nail. Pressing it down, I kind of start at the cuticle area and lowering it. I like to try to do it at a 45 degree angle when I am using a gel in the bottle. But for this product, sometimes I don't always need to do it at a 45 degree angle since it is more of a solid product. And I do find it a lot easier to push it, push it down on the nail. So for these nails, they definitely stay in place. This product is a very solid product. I didn't really have any troubles at all. Something I do want to mention though is because this product is a very thick and solid product, you may realize that it will work better if you go a size up when you are sizing out your nail tips. And if that does occur, there really isn't like anything to worry about that. It's basically just because the product is taking up a little bit more room than if you were to use a gel in a bottle which doesn't take up as much room and really that kind of just depends from person to person, the nail tips you're using, if they have a higher apex or if they're sculpted or if they're not sculpted. One thing I do like to do before curing is just take a wooden stick, go on the underside of the nails, and just make sure I don't have any of that gel touching my skin. If I have extra product in there, you can choose to remove it, or you can just choose to kind of bring it down the nail as if it was poly gel, and you're just molding it to the nail tip. I personally prefer doing that, and that also helps if you do that before curing, you won't have a big blob of gel under the nails. Once I had all of the nails on and they were applied, I went ahead and did a full 60 second cure to make sure everything was cured. And now I'm actually going to be taking another small little ball of this gel and filling in the rest of the space on the nails. So this is something that you can choose to do um, or you don't really have to do. If I were to just apply or draw on, paint on, French tips, I wouldn't actually do this step since I would be covering the clear part of the nail. But for the design that I was thinking about doing, I wanted to have a full pink nail. So I just took a small ball of the product out and just pressed it down into the clear part of the nail, just trying to cover any part of the nail that needed to be covered with the pink color. Again, using that wooden stick to help me maneuver the product and spread it out, just making sure I don't have too much product in there and also just make sure anything isn't touching my skin. Another thing I do want to mention is that this product really, really reminds me of poly gel. And this method here, it's basically like the lazy girl method or the Femi Beauty method, but kind of putting a gel X twist on it. But doing this, it just reminded me of poly gel, but a poly gel that was non-stick. Um, it wasn't sticking to my hands. I didn't have to use slip solution. So if you love poly gel, more than likely you will also love this product because you can use it to do gel X nails and also just use it kind of in a tense to where you're using poly gel. Another thing about this product that I find super cool is that once you cure it, it does not have a sticky layer. There is no tackiness. It is kind of like a non-wipe product. And I really like that because once I cured the underside, I didn't have to go in with the extra step of applying top coat because the product wasn't actually sticky at all. 
So here are the nails. Once I had that all in, I did do a 60 second cure and for that I actually put my hand in normally in the nail lamp and then I also did my palm up and did another 60 second cure just to make sure everything had a full cure. I am now just going in with a little bit of filing, take a taking a hand file to crisp up the shape. I will also be using a e-file with my 5-in-1 drill bit to seal around the cuticle and then I will be taking a buffer to remove the shine from the nail tips. nails after I was all finished filing and buffing. I loved how they were looking. I also really loved the pink color. So now I'm going to be taking this clear and I was actually going to do textured chrome nails in this tutorial or in this nail set and I do follow through and complete the entire nail set but once I finish I am going to be very very honest. I did not like them at all. Um, I was still going through with the nail set because I really wanted to love them and like them and honestly I feel like the problem that I had with this nail set was the powder that I decided to use. I pulled out these like gold bronzy pigment colors and these are actually from Timu and let me just tell you they are really really good pigment powders but I didn't like the color I chose. I thought it looked a little bit more of a gold color. The name for it was bronze though so I feel like my mistake but I just didn't like the color of the chrome. I felt like it looked it didn't look as gold and as yellow gold as I wanted it to look. Um, so I did continue out. I took a little ball of the clear gel and started rolling it out just like I'm playing with Play-Doh. It was very easy to use the product in this way. I didn't have any troubles with it. And honestly, I definitely want to do this again because I was super sad that I didn't really like the result. And I feel like if I use a different color chrome or just something like switch something up about it a little bit, I think I will like it. And I was so sad, but don't worry, I will finish this set and then in the end, I didn't leave you guys hanging, I did end up changing the nail set completely. And the video kind of does get a little bit crazy here, but I felt like, I mean, I was sitting at my desk for like five hours this day working on these nails. And once I had the nails on, that part didn't take me long at all, but once I got to this 3D textured chrome look, 
I was struggling a lot. It is not easy. It is definitely very challenging. It takes practice and patience. And I felt like since I sat there for so long that day, I didn't want all of this footage just to be thrown away and for nobody to ever see it but myself. So I did decide to still add this footage in the video and once you do see the finished set you can let me know down below if you actually liked the nail set. I didn't feel like there was really anything wrong with it. I just felt like it wasn't for me. I didn't really like how it was looking and I think really all it was was the color of this chrome. So I do want to try it again and Maybe if I change the chrome color, I'll end up liking it, or maybe I'll just find out that doing this 3D textured chrome look, I just don't really like the finished result of it. And honestly, something else that really bugged me is the top coat, because when I apply the top coat, um, obviously I didn't have a smooth surface to apply the top coat to. So the top coat kind of looked very wonky and I wasn't really liking that look as well. So I know probably I'm going to get comments saying like I shouldn't be judging my nail sets. I do really good and stuff like that. And thank you guys very much. But sometimes when you are doing your own nails, sometimes things just don't turn out the way you think they are going to turn out or you just don't really like the end result of them. And honestly, I feel like that is something to be very proud of because you are doing your own nails at home you can do something, you can absolutely not like it at all, and then you can just redo it because you have the ability to just redo it and find something that you actually do like and something that will make you look at your nails and say, wow, I did that. So honestly, I was fine with changing it up, but like I mentioned, I didn't want this footage just to be thrown away, so I did continue, and I'm going to go ahead and let this play out because really I don't have much to talk about, and it was a pretty simple and quick process just watching it. I did kind of clip out a lot of things because I didn't actually end up leaving this nail set, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying and haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, give the video a like, it really helps me out a lot, and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. So after I had the top coat applied, honestly looking back at this footage, the nails don't look that bad 
and I feel like I totally could have kept them, but when I was looking at them in person, I just knew it wasn't my thing. I didn't really like them, and at this point of looking at them, this is when I realized I put on the cuticle oil. I was like, let's put this cuticle on to nourish my cuticle oil on to nourish my cuticles and top off this nail set, and just doing that, it didn't look topped off to me. I wasn't really liking it. But I feel like there really isn't that big of an issue with the nail set looking at it back now. But I went ahead, I clipped off all of the 3D chrome textured design that I had added on, and then I just took an e-file and filed everything down to be back at where I was before doing any of that. I also did take a buffer just to buff over the surface of the nails just to make sure there wasn't anything left on the nails. And then I am going to be going in with a very simple and quick design because like I said, I was sitting at my nail desk for like five hours this day because I was struggling and then I was debating whether or not I should really do this and then I didn't like it so I had to do a different nail set. So we're doing something very quick and simple but I didn't really want to leave you guys hanging especially because I just wasn't really happy with the result and that's okay. So I am going in with this very beautiful neon pink reflective gel from McCart. I believe the name is Watermelon Sour, but I love this color so much. I applied one coat of that to all of the nails. One coat was good enough for me since I did already have the pink base color from the solid glue gel. So I went ahead, I had cured the first coat for 30 seconds. I wiped the nails down with some alcohol to remove the sticky layer from the gel polish. And then I am just going to be taking these four pointed star stickers and just putting two of those on all of the nails just to kind of keep it very, very simple very minimalistic but still have a very cute design in the end so I just went ahead put some of those stickers on the nails made sure they were rubbed down and then I am now taking the top coat again topping these nails and curing for 30 seconds <laughs> After the top coat was cured, I was feeling a hundred times better with the result of these nails. These are definitely more my style. I like these nails so so much better but I'm curious to know which set do you guys prefer I really really want to know so let me know down in the comment section if you prefer these pink glitter nails or if you prefer the textured chrome nails let me know also let me know down there if you guys want to see me do a second attempt at the textured chrome nails I did go ahead apply my cuticle oil rub that in to nourish my cuticles and of course like I always say top off the nail set and here is just the finishing looks and the videos of these nails. I really like these ones so much better. They made me feel a lot better this day even though they are super simple with just a pink glitter gel polish and some star stickers. These are totally more my style and maybe that's all it is. Maybe I just don't really like the way the textured chrome nails look on me or the way it looks when I do them. I'm not saying that when I d see these textured chrome nails on Instagram or wherever that they don't look absolutely amazing. But for me, when I did them, I just personally didn't really like them. But I would like I would love to know down below which one, which nail set you guys actually prefer. But that is everything for today's video. If you guys have not tried the 4-in-1 solid glue gels from a cart, I 110% recommend that you try them. Even if you only just purchase one of the colors and try that, I totally recommend it. I will be leaving the links down below in the description box. You can purchase them from the McCart store on Amazon. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video. 
but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.